All right, Matthew, we're back out here live at the President Trump's watch party here in, in uh, New Hampshire, joined by Kerry Lake. And of course, uh, we had a brief moment a couple of nights ago because the president came on during our speech. Wait a minute. <laughs> president Trump interrupted us? No, and we were happy he did because oh. when you and I get talking, we could go on for like an hour. When and so the president came out just in the nick of time. When you two, when you put two people in television together that, can, that likes to talk, that's called a podcast, and we'll be launching our podcast. Especially two people who walked away because of the corruption in mainstream media. The two people who just said, I don't care what you pay me, I cannot look myself in the mirror to, and work one more day pushing propaganda. We just won't do it. And so this is one of the original, you're the OG. <laughs> I'm an OG. Okay, we're gonna get to all the wonderful things of President Trump, but I can't, I can't help but to ask you, I, I saw a tweet of an audio, and I thought to myself, this is unbelievable. If you have not followed her and you hadn't been on X today, uh, let's recap to our viewers this breaking news that you dropped today. Well, I didn't drop any news, but a story came out. A today. story came out, I should say. Um, you know, one of the reasons President Trump is so beloved across this country, and frankly across the world, is because he is rooting out corruption. Our government is rotten to the core. They're tyrants. And we, the people, no longer have any control over our government. And um, a video, uh, actually an audio came out today of a conversation that shows the corruption isn't just at the federal level. It seeps down all the way down to the state and local level. And um, all I can say is that the audio is real and we need to work tirelessly to root this out. We have, we have 10 months to take back our country. We have 10 months to right this ship and save this republic and i'm going to do whatever i can in the next 10 months that's why i'm running for senate i know that's why president trump is running for president he doesn't have to do this he's got a beautiful life but he has to do this because he loves his kids and his grandkids and he wants to save our country yeah i, I listened to that audio and and i just i'm beside myself that the corruption is that deep that goes to the that local level uh, it's something that we've got, we've got to root out from the top to the bottom. And we're going to. In Arizona, we're going to root this corruption out. And if you're corrupt, you got to stop. Because we're not going to stop coming at you. We're not going to stop until we save this republic. No one who is corrupt is safe. So it's time to really turn things around and, and, and save this nation. And that's what I'm about. And that's why I'm running for U.S. Senate. There we go. Running for U.S. Senate. We'll circle back around to that Senate race here in just a second. But tonight... It's all about President Trump, and I had Byron Donalds on here earlier. We were throwing around some percentage points that we thought would, would end up at the end of the night. Now, right now, President Trump, now the only 1% is voting, but he's up about 62, 63%. Very few votes in so far. But does it surprise you? You've been around this state uh, for President Trump over the last few days. Does it surprise you this much support has come out tonight? I'm not surprised at all. We were at polling places today. We were at diners. We've been all over New Hampshire. And almost everybody I spoke to was not only voting for President Trump, but they'd already voted. I was in, in diners at 10 a.m. and I said, are you guys going to go out and vote? And they said, oh, we already voted. We voted. We, we were first in line. And everywhere we went, there was uh, horn honking and people yelling, Trump, Trump, Trump. This is a state that understands what is at stake. I mean, after all, this the motto of New Hampshire is live free or die. And we're in a live free or die moment. We are in a live free or die moment. And that's what it's about. And the people of New Hampshire realize that the whole country is waiting with bated breath to see what the good folks, the good people in New Hampshire are gonna do. Are they gonna vote to get President Trump an America first candidate and president back in the White House or not? And I know after what I saw today, they're going to do that. Yeah. President Trump often talks about the enthusiasm level almost being higher now than it was in 2016, 2020. And it's, we did 39 rallies after the 2020 election. It never lost steam. Never did it slow down. It built. It built. Last night at that rally, we walked in and I mean, thankfully, and I have to thank the Trump team, we got a little bit of a free pass and we got to go to the front of the line. But I walked by so many patriotic folks from New Hampshire. Okay, Brian, I live in Arizona. It was cold. It was cold. <laughs> These people were waiting for not just minutes, but hours to get in to see President Trump. And who would do that for a Nikki Haley? 
Nobody would do that. Yeah. Well, actually, maybe some big donors might, but they wouldn't have to wait very long in line because there would be no line. And so the, the support for President Trump, it doesn't just go a little bit deep. It goes miles deep. It's in people's bone marrow because it is the DNA of our founding fathers. Nikki Haley doesn't have that. Her support is about a half an inch deep. And nobody would wait in the cold to go see a rally. Did you see any big rallies that she did? No. And some people might say, well, it's not about the rally. You know what? You're right. It's not about the rally. It's about we the people. And we the people are energized, excited, and we're ready to fight to take back this country. And I'm, I'm so honored and proud to be even a tiny little part of this movement, a tiny part to take the gifts God gave me, the gifts God gave you, and use them in the next 10 months to save this country. Well, let's talk about that, because I remember being at CPAC in Orlando, and, and at that time, a former news anchor, Carrie Lake, before she ran uh, for office, and we got together at our little CPAC oh booth, before and we were- even quit my job, right? Before you quit your job, basically. You knew I was gonna do it. He, he was way ahead of the curve. But you know, it's interesting, because we're all put here for a purpose. We're all put here to do something and, and God's will is what I truly believe. And I'm here doing this, you know, eight hours a time in a grind. Joe's behind the camera, all these people that are here. Uh, but you're here and you're fighting for, I, I think why people resonate with you so closely, Carrie, is because people see themselves. They see that you represent the average American at home that's raising a family, they've got kids, they're going to work, they're doing the grind. At the end of the day, they want to see that their country is behind them and protects them. And uh, they want to see that this is the, we leave this country better uh, than we found it fiscally. And we stand up for what our constitution uh, tells. You know, I think people, how many of us have had to make a sacrifice? Maybe you walked out on your job because your boss wanted you to get a shot you weren't comfortable with. Maybe you didn't want to wear a mask eight hours a day. Maybe you walked out because your kids got sent home from school and you didn't want them to be home alone and you quit your job. We've all made sacrifices. Nobody gets out of this without a sacrifice. And I walked away from my job because I felt that the uh, truth wasn't being reported and I didn't care that I was in the middle of a, a seven figure contract. I just said, I can't do this. And so we've all made, we've all made sacrifices because we love this country and we're in the we're in the final sprint to the finish line and the people of New Hampshire I know what they're going to do today they're going to send a loud message to the people of this great country that they want President Trump back and why President Trump because he came on the scene as an outsider he came on the scene he didn't have to do this and he got into office after all the naysayers all the media said oh he's going to start wars he's going to crash the stock market the economy is going to go into peril we're going to be just a wreck and just the opposite happened and he did everything right, and we watched as an eight-year smear campaign led by the fake news media and the swamp in D.C. continued to push against him. And people are waking up from that slumber and from those lies right now in record numbers. And it's really a beautiful thing. I'm just truly honored, Brian, to be here with these people. Everybody in this room has in some way sacrificed something, whether it was giving their weekends, their weeknights, knocking on doors, getting people registered to vote, calling people. Everybody in this room in New Hampshire did something to help, not just President Trump win, but to help us save our country. And I think we all need to use our God-given abilities and talents in the next 10 months. And I know that we will save this country. Amen. And you and I have both talked about it. If you want to challenge uh, school board, city council, dog catcher, if you want to, Mike Lindell likes to say, if you want to be the most based dog catcher, then go out and run for dogs. Haley can run for that. Actually, no, I don't want her catching dogs. The dogs might bite her. <laughs> they might bite her. I right, for send her packing tonight. We're going to send her, pack her bags, head back over to Davos. Nikki, the warmonger uh, you know, side of the Republican Party, we're done with them. They're heading back to Davos. All right. If you want more information on Carrie Lake, perhaps donate to her Senate run there in Arizona. In Arizona. Save Arizona. You can partially save this country. CarrieLake.com. You need to get behind candidates who you believe in. You need to get behind movements that you believe in. There are some good uh, GOP parties out there across the, the country. Find out the ones that are truly about America first. Support them, support candidates, and pray. 
we got to do a lot of praying over the next year. Yeah. I believe in that. And by the way, buy her book as well. Thank book. you. <laughs> it's called Unafraid. 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 By Unafraid. All right. Thank you so much. I know you have a lot of people. Love you, hey too. Guys, we're so lucky to have you, Brian, well, and we're lucky to have uh, Right Side Broadcasting. I always say right side means they're on the right side of history. He always says that. Thank you. Don't forget your water. All right. Busy night. Thank you so much.